This is the Black Hawk Street Series version 3. It's a board for the budget conscious but still has a lot to offer. First of all, thank you to Black Hawk for sending me this board to review and test, but as always, it will be a totally honest review. If after the video you like what you see and you want to grab one for yourself, the link will be in the description down below to Black Hawk's website. And as always, YouTube says that only 2.6% of you are, that watch this video are subscribed, so please make sure you subscribe down below and press the bell so you don't miss any uploads coming up soon. Anyway, let's find out what's in the box. The Street Series version 3 arrived the day after Black Hawk said they would send me one so there's no issue with shipping on my part and customer service seems to be on point too as my contact sent me immediate email replies. In the box comes the board which I actually like the design of but we'll get to that a little bit later on in the video. The charger for the LG 4.4 amp 24 volt Leon battery uh, that charges the battery in around 3 hours. The controller, this design of controller is common amongst more budget boards, uh, is a little small for me but it does feature LED indicator lights, a high low mode switch, a reverse mode button and an on off switch. It also comes with a handy little wrist strap which uh, is a nice little touch. In the box also is a multi-tool for adjusting the stiffness of the trucks and removing wheels, a micro USB lead for charging the remote, and the board itself actually also comes with a 12 month warranty and is designed for recreational use on roads or bike paths. Keeping in mind that this is a budget board, it has some budget specs, but depending on what you're going to be using the board for, it may be perfect for you. The board is powered by an LG battery. It's a small battery, but when fully charged, it should be good for 15 kilometers of range. The hub motors are 400 watt brushless motors and provide a decent amount of thrust on the flat but it's the hills where the board will struggle with a small gradient capability of 5%. In testing, I have been getting up hills steeper than this, but the speed did drop considerably. Struggling again up, up this hill. The acceleration's good. I like the acceleration. It's just a nice, it's a nice smooth up to the steady pace that we're at. But obviously you can see we're not going very fast at the moment. This is flat out up uh, again. The battery also has a level indicator on the side which I like and a push to start mode so there is no fiddling around trying to find a on switch. Just turn on the remote and get on the board, push and you're away. Having a smaller battery does help with the overall weight of the board but it will still propel you to 20 to 25 kilometers an hour which for beginners especially is more than enough to get a decent thrill. Overall, it performs well. For zipping through town or cruising across campus, this board copes well with city life, as long as your city doesn't have too many hills in it. The deck is probably my favorite part of the board. 90 centimeters long, 23 centimeters wide, and made of Canadian maple. It has the right amount of flex for me. It's not too stiff, so it can't cope with the bumps, but not too flexy like a boosted board was for me. So you totally feel out of control of the board at all times. It has a nice concave too, uh, which keeps you planted on the board when carving those smooth bits of concrete that are all too rare in the UK, I'm afraid. The grip tape may be too rough for some, but I like it. I like it a lot. It too aids with the control you feel when you're on the board. I also like the fact it has the handle cut out too. It doesn't affect the performance of slower boards and because this board is so light, it makes it even easier to carry with the handle. The trucks are aluminium and 25 centimeters wide. There isn't much more to say about them. They are unbranded, so no Paris trucks here at this price point. They look cast, not forged to me, and come fitted with one riser when riding, they felt good. Carving is particularly fun on this board. 
It loves to carve and that's what it's designed to do. It's designed for long, flat beach promenades where you can carve away under a setting sun. For that, the trucks are perfect. Nuki Zander again. See, this is where the size and the weight and the power of this board all comes into one. It's the portability. The portability of it is brilliant because it's so light and it's got that handle. Some people might scoff at the fact it's got a handle. What, a skateboard with a handle? Well, you know, sometimes that's going to come in handy and especially with how light and portable this board is, having a handle really, really helps because you can just grab it out of the car, walk, put it down and do that last mile trip that we all really need every now and again. I mean, this is perfect for this kind of situation. We're in Newquay, we're at a caravan site and I can grab it out of the car and I can ride it to the shop that's on the site, just up and down about half a mile just to go and get some goodies for the caravan. And it's perfect, absolutely perfect for that. Um, everything's so light, the, the remote's light. I really like the remote actually, it's, it's easy to use and it's small. You, know, you put your finger through it there for stability. But yeah, all in all the portability is fantastic. It's so light, it just goes in the car. Because of the small battery, because of that small range and power output that it's got, it has got a smaller battery, so it just makes it a lighter board, more portable. That's that's it. It's brilliant. Again, another part of the Street Series version 3 that surprised me was the wheels. Hub motors have only a thin strip of rubber surrounding the motor on the rear and normal board wheels on the front. But with the 72mm diameter and being 51mm wide, the own brand Blackhawk wheels felt sticky and smooth combined with the deck. This board just cries out to be carved. And the combination of deck, wheels and trucks just works great. Even over rough nuky town curbs and pedestrian crossings, the board felt smooth and in control. For this price point, it really did surprise me. Overall, I really like the Blackhawk Street Series version 3. It's smooth to ride, it's light and portable, and it's a lot of fun to ride. I'm going to be keeping it in my car for when I'm travelling around so I can just grab it out of the boots and I can go for a little bit of an explore when I can. And if you're looking for the best budget board out there at the moment, that will be that last mile EV when you need it, then the Blackhawk might just be the board for you. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Again, thanks to Blackhawk for sending me the uh, board to test and review. If you want to go and check them out and grab one for yourself, again, down below is a link that will take you straight to Blackhawk's website. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It is free. It doesn't cost anything. It's, it's free. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until the next video, take it easy. See you soon. Bye.